Um, I mentioned earlier your program, Transform Kenya, that you're using to, to really pour into the folks there in Africa. And uh, I was struck by the fact they have a new constitution there in Kenya in, in recent months. And in order to try to get that off to a good start and to move in a new direction, Simon started an initiative to where they went and sent spiritual leaders and ministers to every county uh, throughout Kenya and they they declared that that county was going to belong to God in the name of Jesus Christ and the president of Kenya caught wind of what he was doing and called him and you might be surprised at what the president asked him to do you want to share that with them yeah, uh, we were blessed just to have a president here that we were dedicating the counties to the Lord, 47 of them. Uh, we went from each, uh, one county headquarter to another and did this massive prayer. And, and some of the leaders of government were there and they signed the commitment that we made that as a county, with our people and our generations, we will serve the Lord. Mm. And that was really special. And so he said he'd be very interested in getting involved in a national uh, dedication. And so we organized one in May 12th, and uh, people came from all across the country. We met in the city, and we were many of us. Uh, and uh, the president was to come, but he was not able to come. He had to travel out of town. So the vice president uh, came mm. to represent him. And he came and held the flag of the nation and handed it over to the church, the church leadership. And he said, we want to give this nation over to the almighty God because it belongs to him. And so we knelt down together and we prayed and invited the Lord to rule. And it was just an exciting service. And after that, we signed a document, a covenant between Kenya with the vice president signing and a Christian leader signing. We said... Kenya will belong to the Lord, and our people will serve the Almighty God. And that was just amazing. And um, Dave, I think why this is really exciting for me is because America has been there before, uh, the forefathers, and it's not there right now. And we have been praying that God will restore America. Uh, with the man, we have been praying for that. And, <clears throat> We, we've taken some days to fast and pray with you for the coming elections. And we believe this is an opportune time. And God is going to change the direction of this nation. And you begin to bring you back to the Lord as a nation. Because we need you leading us yeah. in the ways of the Lord. So I'm excited to be here at a time like this.